hope this video finds you well and having a really, really wonderful day. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, this place is for you, my friend. So go ahead and click subscribe. And if you're joining me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram and join me there. We have a beautiful community growing there and I answer and respond to every single comment and post daily. So I'd love to catch up with you over there as well. Before we get started, I just wanna be really honest and transparent with all of you. I actually filmed this video yesterday, but if you follow me on Instagram or you watch my vlog from yesterday, I was in no mood to film just based on all of the things happening in our world. And it felt really bizarre to me to film a video talking about organization and planning um, when there's so many other things we should be talking about. But after talking to you, I realized one way that I can bring joy to other people through these hard times is to continue to deliver content that is uplifting and positive and encouraging. With that being said, I played back yesterday's video and I wasn't that. And you can tell that there was a lot on my mind. So I decided to refilm today and bring you what I promised you from the get go. So with that being said, today I'm bringing you organizational tips that I use to keep all of my planner stuff neat, tidy, and in its place. I don't know about you, but we all collect 900 rolls of washi tape, 500 pens, 9,438 stickers, and they look like they've exploded either in a drawer, a cabinet, on your desk, on the floor, somewhere. And I've really worked hard over the last I'd say six months really organizing all my planning stuff so I can tuck it away and pull it out very quickly when I need it because I don't need it all the time. And I hope some of these tips help you organize all your planning stuff so it doesn't look like a planner nerd explosion in your home. With that being said, let's dive in. Let's first start talking about paper clips, binder clips, hole punchers, tabs, adhesive, stamps, ink pads, all of those things. I have found one way that has cleaned up that entire mess and has put it in one location that I can grab quickly and have all in front of me when I need it. And that, my friends, is, for the lack of a better word, a tackle box. What's great about a tackle box, when you open it, it has tiers and compartments. Now, I bought this one at Walmart. It, I think it cost less than $10 and I absolutely love it. If I can find the exact one, I will link it. If not, I'll link very similar ones in the description box below. What's really wonderful about this tackle box is that everything is compartmentalized and the compartments are just the right size for things like binder clips, paper clips, glue sticks, rulers, hole punches, and stamps. I typically put all my stamps at the bottom because I use them the least and the other things that I use more, I make sure fall in a compartment that is in one of the tiers. But what's great about it is you can close it up, grab it by the handle, and just tuck it away in a drawer, in a cabinet, and it's really easy access to get all of those things out at once. The next thing that I use to organize my notebooks, all my pieces of paper, little cards that I pick up here and there that I wanna include in my planning, I have found the best storage device at Michael's and it is the scrapbook paper containers. What I love is as you lay your things in, you kind of compartmentalize it yourself. It has a really nice snap closure and when you open it up, you can lay in all of your notebooks. So I keep all my extra graphic image notebooks in here. And then I do have like some brand new packs of things. That's typically where I put it before I open the package and then it ends up in a compartment somewhere. I'll usually put my new stuff in here until I have time to open it up, unpackage it and get it all tucked away. And then I also keep my extra A5 papers and any other paper I use for planning. Here's a quick tip from me to you. I think buying scrap paper all the time gets awfully expensive. So I will often find prints that I like online, save them, and then I just print them on paper and I always keep them saved. And that way, whenever I need a backing sheet, I just grab this and I'm ready to go. And I don't have to go to a store and find a piece of scrapbook paper. I find that this is just a really easy way to keep the prints that I love on hand. And I just always keep them tucked in the scrapbook container. The next thing I'm going to talk about is probably one of the hardest things 
to organize, and that is your washi tape. Steven used to get so frustrated with me because there'd literally be rolls of washi tape all over the house. We'd find them under the couch, under the table, all over the place. And I needed a system where I could see them all so I wasn't constantly digging through like a bowl or a jar of washi tape and never being able to find the one I want. So I went on the hunt to find something that would really work. Now Michaels does sell washi tape organizers but they're incredibly expensive. So I hopped over to Target and was perusing the aisles looking for something that would work when I stumbled upon my solution for $10. And it is quite simple. It is just a silverware organizer. What's really great about this one is sometimes you will find them and they all have really wide and then narrow compartments. This one has the same size width compartment the whole way within the organizer. And it actually is perfect to stack your washi tape within the organizer to keep them very neat and tidy. And you can see all of them, grab the one you want, slide it right back into place. Then I just use the other compartments to keep my planning scissors and my tape dispenser. That way I can just grab this along with the other two plastic bins and I got everything I need to get ready to go. This is a great way to organize your washi tape. It just makes it so simple and so visible. Lastly, we're gonna talk about an organizer that is truly meant for organizing planning stuff. And that is this little caddy made by the Happy Planner. You can find this at Michael's. It retails for $29.99, but you can also find it online. I'm gonna leave all of these things linked in the description box below so you have easy access to them if you are at all interested. What I love about this caddy is that it has two sides that you can completely zip open and lay flat on the table to access everything. Let's go ahead and dive into the first side of this caddy. And this is the side that I definitely use the most. What I love is that there are two detachable pouches that I always just pull out and lay on the table while I'm planning. These hold like all my little calendar stickers, the ones that I use daily when I'm planning, so I have really quick access. And the other one, you guys know how I feel about this, it is my Sessa V top three everyday seven cards and my Sessa V post-its because I often throw those in my planner and I use them all the time, so I want really quick access to it. Then on the other side of the pouch is a just a secretary pocket, and in there I keep some extra post-its and stickers that are for my calendar, but I also print out different fonts and lettering that I want to try in my planner. Because I'm always writing in my planner, I want it on the side that I open and use the most, and I just fold that in half when I'm not using it and tuck it in that secretary pocket. This is the side I use the most, but on the other side, I actually house a whole lot more. So let's go ahead and dive in. On the other side of this planner, when you open it up, there is a really big, clear, zippered pouch. This one isn't detachable, it's actually sewn into the case. In there I keep all my extra calendar stickers and also the gold foil stickers that I really enjoy to like jazz up my planner. I keep those there because they're the ones I'll use the most. Any sticker or journaling card that I really don't use goes in the other side because I don't reach for them very often. I more or less reach for these stickers and journal cards for special occasions. And then lastly, there is this little elasticized pocket, and in there I keep my journal stencils, extra dividers, my other Hobonichi that is the other six months of the year, along with some extra dashboards. Um, and that's what I keep in here, but what's great is you can literally zip this up, grab it, and within this little caddy, you have all your stickers, all your stencils, extra dividers, extra dashboards, literally everything you need right here. That is it, my friends. That is how I organize all of my planning stuff. If you use any of these tips, make sure to snap a picture of it and tag me over on Instagram. I will leave my handle right here on the screen one more time for you. But in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. You might just change the world. Until next time, bye-bye.